it's been a while. Hey, what's up guys? It's Jordan Teasers Books and today I'm going to be doing my Booktubeathon wrap up. Now, I didn't make any Booktubeathon videos because I was camping the entire week of Booktubeathon, which really kind of sucks since, you know, I wanted to make videos and I haven't been making videos a lot recently, but I've been super busy with school. I graduated. I graduated high school and next year I'm going to be going to university. I'm actually attending Western University in London, Ontario, Canada. Um, I'm going for business management with a side of accounting, so I'm super, super excited and I can't wait. I took some really awesome classes next year and I'm very excited. So yeah, I did not do a Booktubeathon TBR and I didn't participate in any Booktubeathon challenges, but I did read a lot and I decided that I would make my entire camping trip be my mini Booktubeathon because I haven't been reading a lot recently. I'm still kind of in a slump, but I'm I'm getting there. I'm getting better. I promise you guys I'll start making videos more regularly now that I actually have some time off. So the first book that I read, which I finally finished and I'm so glad and I can't wait to ship it off to the next person, and that is I'll Give You the Sun by Jannie Nelson. I'm actually doing a traveling book, so this book was sent to me. It was originally started by Linnea Burke and I can't remember who sent it to me off the top of my head and I'll put her and the original owner's blog at, down below. And they're both from Canada, but I'm actually shipping it to Alyssa from Pucks and Paperbacks. I love Alyssa. I asked if she wanted this book and she said she hadn't read it yet. So I was like, perfect, because this book is amazing. I gave it five out of five stars. I can't wait to review it. Um, hopefully my review will be up around the same time as this video. So click somewhere here if it's already up and yeah. I read this book for a book with yellow on the cover because there's some yellows in there. I'll Give You the Sun is basically about two twins and is told on different timelines and the twins both really want to get into this art school because they love to draw and do all this kind of creative stuff and it has some LGBTQ concepts in it which I really really enjoyed. I would just go into it knowing that it's a really awesome book. It's beautifully written. I was highlighting and sticky noting the crap out of this book so that Alyssa when she reads it has even more to look through than when I started with. One of my favorite lines which I actually wrote in the front of the book it says Adam and Adam in the garden. I just thought that was beautiful. It relates perfectly to LGBTQ and shows how easy it should be to accept this kind of stuff and I just loved it so much. I love so many different sayings in this novel. It was wonderful. So this was book number one for me. The next book I read I actually listened to an audiobook which is kind of new for me. I don't normally listen to audiobooks. I saw Jesse the Reader's video recently and it was tips and tricks to listening to audiobooks and I decided to watch it since I've always struggled to really focus. I always end up either falling asleep or completely zoning out for a good chapter and then all of a sudden I'm completely confused. He said that the best one that worked for him was to play something like Candy Crush completely mindless game that helps you focus but not focus on what you're doing so then that way you listen to the book. And so I decided to listen to The Statistical Probability of Love at First Sight by Jennifer E. Smith. I read this book for a book that interested me because of booktube. This book was really short so it was easy for me because we had a five hour long, eight hour long car ride. I didn't particularly love this book. It was good just to listen to, just to keep me busy, but I wouldn't recommend it as a top contemporary. I gave it three out of five stars and it's basically about these two people that meet in an airport and it's what it says in the cover, love at first sight. I thought the person who did the audiobook did a really good job and I recommend the audiobook at least if you want to give this book a try. The next book I read I also listened on audiobook on the way down to Michigan and that is Maybe Not by Colleen Hoover. I read Maybe Not for a book by an author that I really enjoy. This is a kind of sequel to Maybe Someday by Colleen Hoover. Basically the love story between Ridge's two roommates and how they came together and I really really enjoyed it. It was really cute and I loved how like awesome it was. I definitely wouldn't recommend it to people who don't don't like adult content because there is a few chapters and not chapters there's a few scenes in the book that have that kind of stuff in it so if that's not your thing then I wouldn't recommend it but I did also really enjoy the audiobook to this as well it was only like three hours and it didn't take that long and I had a lot of fun listening to it and the next book I read I read for the challenge of reading a book only after sundown and that is Zenith by Sasha Ellsberg and Lindsay Cummings really enjoyed this book it was interesting not a lot happened in the first 100 pages because it was just the first part of the book but I did really enjoy it I thought it was interesting it has a lot of good potential and I'm definitely going to to read the next two installments of the book. Zenith is basically about this girl who is a space pirate and that's really cool because I love sci-fi books and pirates are freaking awesome so why not and basically it's about how she is running from the law and what happens there and her whole backstory is yet to be completely revealed and so I'm excited to find out more about her and the final book I read for book two with Thon is Trials of Apollo by Rick Riordan and I read this book and then watched the book to movie adaptation Sea of Monsters while I was camping I loved this book five out of five stars it was wonderful I just I just couldn't put it down it was so good it was hilarious I loved Apollo I love when gods are in it 
it and I just love Greek mythology and this was perfect for me and there was Percy in it like <gasps> Percy I love oh man I'm so excited I can't wait for the next book and I can't wait because I haven't read, read Magnus Chase yet but my friend told me it is really really good and I can't wait to start it and I'm just oh uh, I hit myself in the eye <laughs> okay I'm a bit too excited apparently Basically, this book is about Apollo, and Apollo pisses off Zeus in some of the Heroes of Olympus books, and I'm not going to give full disclosure as to why. But basically, he is sent down into the mortal world and turned into a mortal. It's just funny, because Apollo is the most stuck-up god you could possibly have, and he's expected to look normal and not have any godly powers, and basically he meets this other girl and he she claims him as his like servant for the years for his trials and so then he has to go back to camp half-blood to seek some help and he tries to recover the oracles since that's kind of what is going on there the oracles aren't working properly and he has to fix them and i just really enjoyed it and i highly recommend this book it was so so funny so that's it for my book two wrap up i managed to read five books which i think is pretty good considering uh, i haven't been reading at all so i'm gonna take it whatever maybe next year i can actually make videos during the book two with Han and win some stuff. That'd be pretty awesome. Once again, you can follow me on my Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, and my blog. I'll put all my links down below. Let me know how many books you read during the book two with Han. I would love to know and watch your wrap up videos. You can leave them down below. Thanks for watching and keep on reading, guys. Bye!